So your doctor is telling you to quit keto. He or she is freaking out because your LDL cholesterol went up. Maybe it went up a couple points, maybe it went up a bunch, and you're looking for some answers. Well, I'm gonna give it to you, okay? I'm gonna give you the science, I'm gonna make it very simple. I'm gonna give you a really simple explanation of what's happening with cholesterol and what's happening with keto and cholesterol, and then I'm gonna give you a really solid example of what's happening and why your LDL could be going up. And you can take this information to your doctor and order some specific tests that will help ease your mind, okay? So I'll give it all to you. Hey, we've got new videos coming out all the time. Okay, so I wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then please hit that little bell icon. It's kinda of funny looking. Slap that thing and that way you're gonna get a notification every time I post a new video so you won't ever miss a beat. And after you watch this video, go ahead and check out Thrive Market down below in the description. So if you've heard of Thrive before, they're an online grocery store. And since I'm all about doing keto in a very, very clean way, I was able to assemble clean groceries for keto in a specific keto grocery box from Thrive. That way you can watch this video, but you can get a special price on the Thrive Box after you're done watching this video. So basically, it's my way of extending special discounts out to people that wanna get good, clean keto groceries. Anyhow, that's either here nor there. Check it out after the video. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna to touch on this. Cholesterol is not bad. We know this, right? Cholesterol is needed for cells and it's needed for all kinds of functioning. But there's, not, there's a common fallacy out there that LDL is really, really bad. When in reality, I'm gonna make this very quick, LDL is just a carrier, okay? So I want you to think of LDL and HDL like boats, and I've talked about this in other videos, but HDL is a boat that carries cholesterol, and LDL is a boat that carries cholesterol. LDL carries cholesterol to the cell, HDL carries it back to the liver. They're both equally good, okay? They're not bad. Here's where real bad cholesterol comes into play. When LDL mixes with sugar in the blood, it goes through a process called glycation. Think of it like caramelizing onions, okay? When the sugar in the onion becomes cooked and dense, it gets hard and crusty, right? Same thing happens with LDL. LDL starts out as a perfectly buoyant boat that just does what it's supposed to do, and then it caramelizes with sugar in the blood, your blood sugar, and it gets denser and denser and denser. And once it's so dense, then it can't attach to the receptors that it needs to attach to. So it pools up in the blood and it goes bad, and it just, you have bad LDL because it's just, it doesn't have anywhere to go. But you see, LDL is only bad once it has gone through the glycation process, once it is oxidized, okay, period. Otherwise, LDL is perfectly normal, perfectly functioning, and should not be a concern. So when you are on keto, you are transporting more fats. It is the job of LDL to actually transport triglycerides, the storage form of fat. If you didn't have LDL, you would never burn fat because it would never get moved, okay? It doesn't float in the blood. It has to ride on the boat, okay? Remember, the boat only becomes bad if it gets so dense that it can't function properly. So LDL is not bad. So first of all, you can tell your doctor that, hey, I know about LDL, and I need to know if I have dense LDL, small dense LDL, or do I have normal LDL? Okay, so that's where the whole thing comes into play. LDL is not bad, I can't say that enough. It is so critical. So you need to talk to your doctor and you need to say, hey doc, can you give me a lipid panel with fractionation? Okay, your doctor might look at you like you're crazy, but most doctors today now know about it. Fractionation is where they actually look at your cholesterol and they take a look at your LDL and they expand it into multiple different kinds of LDL. That way they can tell you, oh, guess what? Your normal LDL, your bad cholesterol, is actually fine. Okay, you're all good there, but you do have some of this small dense LDL that we need to take care of. Okay, or they might tell you, hey, your LDL's high, and hey, you have practically no small dense LDL. Sorry, I was wrong before. You're totally fine. Keep doing your keto thing, right? They'll probably never say that, but at least gives you peace of mind. The other thing that you can do is go and ask for a coronary calcium CT scan. This is actually gonna be a CT scan of your arteries. This is what you really want to see if you actually have plaque and actually have an issue. Okay, but it's very important that you know why your cholesterol could be even elevated more if you're an athlete, okay? If you are what is called a hyper responder, if you are someone that is lean, if you are someone that is athletic, or was at some point in your life even, you could have even higher levels of cholesterol simply because you are what is called a lean mass hyperresponder. Again, Dave Feldman, who's well known in the cholesterol world, talks about this all the time. Now, what a lean mass hyperresponder is, is it means that your body is so used to using fats that 
it adjusts really quick and skyrockets cholesterol levels up because it knows that it's supposed to do that. So let me give you an example. If you are an athlete, your cells are used to using fat. If you're a runner, your body is used to using fat because it's the primary constituent of your fuel when you are working out. If you have been in keto for a long time, your cells are used to using fat and your lean mass is ready to use that fat, okay? So what happens is when you go keto and you start eating more of these fats, your body accommodates it because it's like, yes, thank you, energy, energy that I'm used to. So it creates more of these boats. It creates more cholesterol, more of these boats to carry it, more of the lipoproteins, I should say, not cholesterol. So it creates more of the boats to carry the cholesterol and to accommodate it. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And a lean mass hyper responder on keto will have very high levels. In fact, I have actually seen my cholesterol levels go very, very high, okay? Nicholas Norwitz, who actually helped research some of this stuff, he's a ketone researcher at Oxford University and he's a Harvard med student. Awesome, awesome dude that's been helping me out a lot. He saw his levels go up. I don't wanna just share his numbers willy-nilly, but his numbers in three months of keto went up like 200 points on his LDL. I mean, like insane. And he's leaner and healthier than he's ever been. Okay, pretty wild stuff. Now, let me reference a study. This study was published in the BMJ Open Sports and Exercise in Medicine Journal. Okay, it took a look at 20 subjects, 10 endurance athletes that were on low carb and 10 endurance athletes that were on high carb. And they looked at their lipid profiles, they looked at all kinds of stuff. And they wanted to see how they balanced out, like who was a hyper responder, what happened? Well, guess what? Total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and LDL cholesterol were all super elevated in the low carb athletes more so than the high carb athletes. But then when they actually looked at particle distribution, they found that the low carb group had a much better, much diverse particle distribution with significantly lower levels of small dense lipoprotein. Remember, the caramelized cholesterols? Okay, so they had a much lower level of that showing that even their cholesterol was higher, their bad, truly bad cholesterol was lower. Okay, even though their LDL was still up. What this shows is that there was actually a functional use for this lipoprotein. There was a functional use for the cholesterol, cholesterol being elevated, right? So the body was using it because their body was burning more fat. So here's what can happen. It's somewhat of a hypothesis. Inside our cell, we have the mitochondria. And when we create ketones, they're created in the mitochondria. So our body takes fat, delivers them to the mitochondria, packages them up into little boxes called ketones, and delivers them out to the cells. Well, cholesterol is synthesized in what's called the cytoplasm, a different part of the cell. Okay, but they both are close to each other. And sometimes when you're creating ketones, these ketones sort of leak out of the mitochondria and into the cytosol, a different part of the cell. This causes what's called acetoacetyl coenzyme A to come up. This is very complex, but essentially what's happening is because you've created another additional source of energy at the cellular level, the demand for cholesterol comes up. The demand for LDL comes up. So this is somewhat of a hypothesis, but basically it means that because ketones are being created, you're having some spillover that's sort of fooling the body into creating more LDL that doesn't really have a negative purpose. It's not doing anything bad. It's not gonna clog your arteries. LDL is only gonna clog your arteries if it is the small, dense LDL that gets acted upon by the immune system. Anyhow, go to your doctor, ask him for fractionation, or ask him for a coronary calcium CT scan. That's the only way that you can really rest assured. Otherwise, you're just trusting some guy on YouTube, right? But I like to think I've been around the block. I've been keto for close to 10 years. Anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. We'll see you in the next video.